Taliban has reportedly killed the ISIS leader responsible for the 2021 deadly suicide bombing at Kabul International Airport. Our Chris Holmstrom joins us now live. Chris, 13 U.S. Super service members were among those uh, killed. There were more than 100 people killed in this attack. Yeah, you know, it's one of those situations where I still remember the pictures and video yeah. pretty clearly. But yeah, it's been two years since that bombing, which took place in the final days of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. Two. Almost two years since the deadly blast that killed 13 American troops at Kabul's International Airport, the U.S. has confirmed that the ISIS mastermind behind the attack was killed by the Taliban. U.S. Marines Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover was one of the 13. His father, Darren Hoover, says he was told yesterday of the ISIS leader's death. Nothing's going to bring Taylor back, and, and, you know, we understand that. The U.S. is not releasing the name of the mastermind, and Pentagon officials say the U.S. was not involved in the operation that took him out. It's one less terrorist that we have to worry about. The August 2021 suicide bombing took place near Abbey Gate during the final chaotic days of the U.S. drawdown from Afghanistan. More than 100 Afghan civilians were also killed in the attack. Marine Corps Sergeant Tyler Vargas Andrews survived the blast. I opened my eyes to Marines dead or unconscious lying around me. U.S. officials learned of the ISIS leader's death weeks ago, though not from the Taliban. Instead, officials made the determination from their own intelligence gathering. All right, so we've learned the Pentagon had begun contacting the families of the U.S. service members killed in the attack, but the White House asked CBS to hold this reporting until all 13 families were notified. You know, some people are talking about the timing of this news, uh, especially when it comes to the White House and President Biden announcing his re-election. But they're saying it was purely uh, coincidental that it happened and that released this. So. Well, you hear the family members say, you know, it's not going to bring their child back. So right. I'm sure they did want to notify the families before yeah. they made an announcement. It's crazy. It's been two years. Yeah. Nearly. I know. Yeah. Chris, thank you. You're welcome.